All right, no intros. Let's just get straight into this because, baby, we are doing dungeon floor tiles. This is set C. I've got A, C. I thought I had B, but I can't find it. But I've definitely got A and C. It is, it is A, the other one, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I got set A, which is the bigger one. I thought I had another one, but um, it, I can just see these two for now. Anyway. So we're going to paint these. I've prepared them in the last episode, oh, painstakingly. Oh my goodness, and I do mean painstakingly. And I'm going to start painting these um, for my primer or black. I'm just going to use this acrylic paints, uh, Crawford and Black craft paint. I'm using it because it's cheaper. Yeah, I'm a cheapskate. That is what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna water it down a bit, I think. Squeeze some out here. Because. Yeah. Because this paint's quite thick. And I'm just stunning. Oh, I've got no. Um... Aha! You have some distilled water here. Let's use that. Some distilled water. This is a Chinese, an old Chinese pot. Yeah, what we've got here. And I'm going to put in a couple drops of flow aid as well. A few drops actually. Four, five, six. There we go. Six drops of flow aid. Now, um, there's some cracks in these tiles, like like um, they sort of laser cut cracks. I would like them to be darker, and I would like them not to be covered up too much. If that makes sense, any sense at all. Uh, it's still pretty thick though, that's the only trouble. Yeah. yeah, it's not running, see? It's, uh... Not running. Not terribly well. So, add some more water to this mixture. It's, um, it's getting there. <laughs> Watch, see, last episode you watched Pete sanding MDF tiles that must have been like you know either the most boring or the most therapeutic session you've ever had <laughs> it's therapeutic for me I do have to say that um, and this time you're watching me mix paint I wouldn't say I wanted a wash per se but I want it quite thin this stuff is thick as you like. It is, it is really globby. See, that's the problem here. And yeah, I mean, I'm gonna move my microphone because I don't want it in the way of um, See, I'm not going to be able to paint all of these tiles like both sides. What I meant to say was I'm not going to be able to paint all of these tiles. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to paint these tiles both sides. So they're going to have to dry one side and then they're going to have to paint the other side. So that's, that's going to be a pain, you know, right there. That's a pain. Right there. Big, huge, old pain. Pain in the butt. Stuff. 
starting to run. It's starting to a bit more water. That's what we need. That's what we need. A bit more water. Like I say, I'm, I don't want to create a wash, but I do want it to be thin. Or thin, technical term coming up here, thin-ish. Yeah, thin-ish. I mean, definitely getting there. I'm going to put a few more drops of fluid in. Full pipette. How's that? Some more. Water. And I think we'll be good. Almost, he says, almost. See that? That's running a bit healthier now, at least. Right, so I'm going to wash my brush off because I don't want any thick globules forming on it. I've got my coffee ready. I forgot to say at the start, get your tea, coffee ready. And to do my usual spiel, I just went in straight in. No intros. That was the plan, though. No, no intro today. No intro. But you know the score. You put this on in the background as you hobby or paint along with me. I talk about stuff. And, you know, I'm just going to talk about stuff. See if I paint up a couple of these tiles. And it's already quite thin. See, I'm planning on um, dry brushing um, the other layers. So... Good to get this layer of black on, I suppose. And of course, if it's thinner as well, it shouldn't take as long to dry. So we've got that on our side. I don't need to worry about painting the undersides of these things. So I don't know what I was worried about there. But, um, you know, I've got my heater on. I don't know what that's got to do with anything. Because it's cold. I'm thinking, it's, gee, it's cold today. Right, I have painted one of my tiles. And I'm placing him down to, to dry out. Alright, so... This is what this episode of On The Bench is going to be. It's going to be me painting black onto my tiles. Man, I had no clue how much filling down this paint was going to need. It really is thick, that paint. Like I say, it's almost wash consistency now, not quite. It's one step up from wash, which is cool. I'm, I'm, I'm totally cool with that. If I can, um, if I can get these done. And uh, I can still see the lines when they're dry. I'll be pleased. I'll be pretty pleased with myself for doing that. So, I've been watching some more YouTube videos, you know, like I do. Um, some of the things that I like watching. <laughs> I've been asked before, actually. It's a little, little, little uh, Q&A for you here, a little... Like a little reminiscence of P and Q. Do you remember those days? Don't, don't forget the Christmas special coming up. Christmas special P and Q. I, I, I'd like more questions. You can pop them down here. Or I'll, I'll be putting reminder up again. Soon. But you know if you could. Uh, just leave me a question. I, I, I would like to do that. Because I'm doing a P and Q Christmas special. That's what I call a Christmas special. Um, I thought, yeah, 
do, do some more questions. Pinky is retired, but coming out of retirement for Christmas, you know. Christmas is going to be a strange one this year, isn't it? I don't know what everybody's doing. Um, you know, it's a strange one. That, that, that's no getting away from that. Yeah, it'll be remembered. Let's just put it that way. It will be remembered. So I've been watching YouTube videos. As I say. This is how easy I go off on a tangent, you see. I've been watching these videos of people that um, live in their vans. You know, I know. Van life is one I watch. Ah, brilliant. He makes it... He's almost like a, like a Buddhist monk or something <laughs> with his philosophy. Just got rid of all, it, all his possessions. Um, he just keeps the bare essentials. Uh, what he needs to live and and for his his work, he's a DJ. He works as a DJ. It's just him in his van driving around Canada, um, enjoying life. I suppose you could say, yeah, enjoying life. See this this may dry with some of the MDF showing through. I'm okay with that too. Because we're gonna be dry brushing um, greys on top of it. Could even put some texture on it as well, couldn't I? Thinking about it, you could do. Blob of sand here and there. You could you could, I mean Possibilities are endless. But anyway, yeah, back to the talk about the van life. Yeah, it looks really cool though. Um, certainly lowered his stress levels from his lifestyle. And saving a bit of money there because he was paying over like two grand a month rent. On just just the rent on his condo, and now he's um, he's living in a van. He's saving quite a bit of money. Definitely cheaper. It's not. I would say it was cheap to to do van life, but it's definitely cheaper, <laughs> cheaper. So uh, you know, I wish him all the best with that. Yeah. I can I can see I can see the appeal if I was like a single man a young man a younger man uh, I don't I don't I know I'm quite old I don't consider myself old old but uh, old enough <laughs> yeah I can see it drying um, it is coming through, but the cracks are, are kind of dark, which is what I want. So I've got my heater on right now because it is cold. I'll tell you that. It is cold. Um, But it's very cosy in here. I'm, this is strange because last episode, all you could hear really was me going <laughs> with the filing. <laughs> and it's dead silence now. Nothing noisy outside, even. No, uh, no revs from my neighbor's motorcycle. Cah. It is, it's. My neighbour's motorcycle, on a par with Revy McRaverson from um, the Mini War Game of Jay channel. If anybody's watched his painting with Jays, you might know the tale of Revy McRaverson, as he called his neighbour at the time. The tale of Revy McRaverson. He sure likes the Revy motorcycle. 
and he did. <laughs> yeah, he really did like to rev that motorcycle. So, yeah, it's drying dark, which is which is good. Don't forget it. I'll have the greys on, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too bothered. Oh, here's one that doesn't need the uh, cracks filling in because he's got no cracks on this one. Well, there you are. There you are, sir. Got an interesting one here. Got the little symbol on it here. That's kind of cool. Very cool. Yeah, I like I like that. I'm gonna be setting up for uh, um, the next. Or the proper first proper scenario for Resident Evil. So I've got to learn the other rules uh, to it. Yeah, the rest of the rules. So that's something I want to be doing. I want to get another uh, RPG solo session filmed as well. Not can't see that happening today, but soon. Yeah, soon. Get lots of footage filmed this week, and then I can do lots of editing on the other days, then. Right. Don't think I can... Do any more of those, right? That one appears to be dry enough to leave to the side. So I'll do another long one. This is all good stuff. I've got my coffee in my um, kind of like my flask mug type thing. Thermal mug, is that what you call it? Keeps my drink hotter for longer. Because I find when I just use a normal mug, and I do do that sometimes, that uh, gets cold real quick. I'm not a fan of that, you know. There. Another small one. Oh, this is therapeutic too. Very therapeutic. Yeah, see if I'd not thinned this down, it would possibly have done two things. Possibly have covered up the cracks so that I couldn't see them. And it would probably still be wet by the end of the session, you know, and take like a week to dry or what have you. Uh, Yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. So I've got another one here that's drying pretty well. So I'll pop that there. I'll get this other one done. It's got a symbol on as well, so. Use my last on the bench. I really didn't want to be prepping these tiles was really not something I wanted to do now I don't mind painting these don't mind this at all this is very therapeutic and it was therapeutic last time don't get me wrong but it wasn't something I was looking forward to it, you know it took me a while didn't it and it gave me such dry hands and you know all this other stuff 
hate getting dry hands from like filing and things like that. I suppose I, I guess I just hate the feeling of dry hands. Period. So uh, yeah, I was glad when that was done. I really was. Hmm. Yeah, they do dry nice and quick. That that is a good thing. It really is. I've got to watch my paint don't doesn't dry out too much, though. Keep on top of that. So move these up here. Yeah, they'll nearly be ready for uh, laying on top. See, I could probably lay on top of that. With another one, this big piece here, it's just the corner that's just, so yeah, it doesn't take as long to dry, you see, which is good. That can go there too. Yeah. Let's do this. I don't really need my magnifying glasses on for this, so that I've got them on. I'm just used to it when I'm painting. So as I said, I think it was in the last video, I'm probably going to seal these with PVA glue. Well, there's no probably about it. I am going to seal these. PVA glue and water. That's what I'm gonna do. Definitely. And uh, I mean, if I didn't, I think they would wear off the paint. If I'm standing uh, miniatures on it often, which I would be, I think the paint would rub off, it start to look a bit weird, so yeah, right, using Crawford and Black, uh, like a cheapy artist brush here for this, um, yeah, he's drying. Some of them are drying quite, quite well. These longer pieces seem to dry quite well, quite quickly. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it actually. Mm. God, that's still red hot. <laughs> good, good, good stuff. It's all good stuff. Now, let's get another long, long piece done because they don't take long to dry. Yeah, look at that. I've been toying with the idea of, um, is it possible for me to retrain in something? You know, like people do at certain times of their life. And, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking into the possibility of maybe tr seeing if I can be retrained in something else. I know I'm a bit old, but some companies run apprenticeships and they don't care how old you are. Um, So yeah, we'll, we'll see. Oh, these pieces are uh, coming on here. These pieces, uh, I think I get more messy with these pieces um, holding them what I'm doing right now 
So I just want to get these painted. Um, I might. Initially, I was thinking, well, I'll need them for my um, solo RPG coming. I mean, I might not. You know, I might not. But we'll see. I've got to do some tests with the uh, the dungeon emulator. You know, the create your own dungeon thing. See if uh, I can't with a, a dungeon that I can put together with these tiles quick enough. You know, off the cuff, so I can do it on camera too. That that would be good. Um, yeah. That was the, so that's the plan, as it were. Yeah, I thought about um yeah. Train retraining though, so I don't know. I'm gonna give it a shot, see if I can come up with anything because it's not that I'm unfulfilled doing what I'm doing, but I mean, it's a means to an end, right? It's, um, you know, it's not high profile. I kind of left all that behind. And I'm happy to. But, I don't know, it's just... I can't use anything with that job in an outside field. I don't have any skills I can bring to, like, to my home or... You know, my vehicle or anybody else's uh, life. You know, like if you if you learn how to be a plumber, you can use that for your own domestic use, can't you? Or an electrician or a carpenter or something. But, uh, no, I don't know. Maybe I'm going for a midlife crisis. I think that's what I'm doing, personally. Yeah, well and truly, midlife crisis. He has a midlife crisis. Wonders what he's going to be doing. Moving my pieces off my drying mat to the main cutting mat <laughs> gradually. I'm glad I don't have to paint both sides of these. That would be a royal pain in the butt. When I do the dry brushing on this, I'm not going to paint the sides. I know I'm painting the sides now with this black, but um, I'm not going to be painting the sides again. I'm just going to leave them just the top bit. I want the sides to remain as they are. Trying not to get too messy, but it's a it's a tricky endeavour. I'll be I'll be honest with you. <laughs> it's tricky. But yeah, some of these are drying quite well. Just got little areas left that need doing. And I'm like, hurry up, man! Hurry up, dude! What are we on anyway? Oh, no. Seriously? 29 minutes? Already? 29 minutes? That can't be. But it is. I know it is. That's, well. Well, I never. Well. So, what are you all working on, folks? Let me know that. I know some of you are doing some pretty awesome stuff. Doing some pretty rad things. Some of you are doing some uh, apocalyptic things. Some of you are doing uh, Warhammer stuff. Some of you are doing historical stuff. I know that. So we've got a bit of all sorts going on here. Is anybody else doing terrain or terrain type stuff? 
kind of cool. Terrain can be a like uh, but a bit laborious to do. It can be, or it can be, sometimes it can be quite cool. You know, sometimes it can be yeah, you know, it's not too bad. You know, that kind of thing. All right, so I'm looking for stuff I can stack now. My goodness. Um. I mean, I'm looking at this as a finish, and it's like it's not too bad. It's pretty darn good. Once I get the dark greys going down there, on that, that's going to look pretty rad. The other thing with the, the MDF, of course, is it, it soaks paint up, doesn't it? Being the wood, it just soaks paint, absorbs it, I suppose is the better way of putting it. It absorbs paint. Yeah. Right, let's get another, another little one done. Oh, got one here. It's surprising how many pieces you get in this. Even if I can't find, you know, my other tile set, I'll have more than enough pieces here to do any dungeon I want, really. So that's going to be pretty rad. Radical, dude. Yeah, so, yeah. There we go, there we go. Soon to be a bit of an impasse with um, drying. I don't know what's going on here quite with it, but, yeah. My heater is on. I'm going to have black hands by the end of this. Not too bad, but yeah. This black paint's good, though, for this sort of thing. I think it's perfect. I mean, you know, ideal. You can get yourself this sort of thing. I think I picked this up in the works, I'm pretty sure. It's like a hobby craft place type thingamajig. Yeah, so... Yeah. Hmm. I mean, ideally, I would like to get them all done. I would. But I'm going to try and clear a bit of a space for me to put more on, too. That might help. That will help, actually. Yes, that will help immensely. So let's get some more of these tiles done done when I say let's get more of these tiles done I mean let's get more of these little tiles done these little pain in the ass ones and then we move on to the big ones and then it'll, it'll go quite quick production wise production wise yeah look at that Ooh. dropped him on his front <laughs> that really didn't help Right, gonna do another long one. Long one coming up. I mean, I said on another video these these tiles could probably be used as they are, you know, without painting. But I want to paint. I want to do it. Too late now, anyway. Painting them. But yeah, no, I, want, I seriously want to do it. 
Going to be stone effect. Yeah. That is just about dry enough to put one on top. I'm okay stacking them up. Um, when they're dry, I'm not too worried about that. I'm not going to worry about it when I dry brush them either. I'll probably do exactly the same thing. Thinking about what to have for our tea tonight, and I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. It'd be just me and Mrs. Mini Warzone for tea because my daughter will be at work. Let's do a weird one. Let's do a weird shaped one. Got a weird shaped one here. Let's get this out of the way. This big chunky tile. Yeah, let's get this out of the way. Yeah, that's one edge. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. By the time I finished. Wow, eleven edges. There. Woo wee! That's toasty. Nice and toasty in here. Got my heater on. It's not getting too hot. Might have a point when we turn it off for a bit. That's a sure sign that winter is here, I think, you know. But the way I look at it, next month at the time of recording this is December. And shortest days in December, then I'm thinking, right, days are gonna get longer now. You know, that's, that's how I think. It makes me feel better. It's, people tend to get more down and depressed in the winter, I, I think. Which is understandable. Especially now with this, what's going on in the world. There's a lot of low vibrations. We need to keep these vibrations high, people. Keep our hobby awesomeness going. Keep these happy vibes going. Hobby makes you feel good, right? Hold on to that. Hold on to it. This lifestyle. I mean, like uh, I've said before, I, I feel kind of fortunate, really, that I'm the type of person I am, doing this hobby and so on, because I feel better equipped to deal with this, what's going on, than most people. Isolation and that kind of thing doesn't really bother me. You know, I kind of live apart anyway with the world, so you know, I'm not, I'm not too fussed. It does affect a lot of people though. I know. And uh, I'm sorry for you people, you know, I'm here for you, at least I'm here digitally. We can hobby together. It's good. I do, uh, I do kind of miss going to see my friends sometimes though. So. 
yeah, I know you got video chat and things of that nature, but yeah, I still miss them. <sighs> I'm getting a lot more of these painted than I thought, actually, than I thought I would, given how I'm painting them and uh, how, how many there are. And, I've got a plan ahead for the next uh, set, definitely, because it's much bigger. I don't think the other set I've got is as big as the the other the, the one I've got on the, on the desk and now. Set A, I think, is the biggest one, but man, yeah, it's pretty big. Pretty big. A lot of cracks on this one. Ideal for dungeon crawls, though. Isn't um, there a game called Dungeon Saga? Isn't that a bit of a dungeon crawl sort of thing? Like a miniature board game, like Zombicide type of thingamajig? I'm not entirely sure, but... Uh, name seems to crop up to my mind. Right. Okay, look at my draw. Oh, yeah, I like. Look at that. You can be stacked. You can go there. These tours can be stacked now. So that's looking good. Yes, brother. We're looking good. Let's do another long one, long strip. What time have we got here? Is that 42 minutes? Difficult to see. The time, the counter is on my microphone, not my camera. And my microphone is kind of angled, so I can't see the screen. So I think it said 42 minutes. That's all right. That's another one down. Let's stack that on that one. And that on that one. Move that up there. I can do another long one now. This is the last long one to put the black on. Yeah. <sighs> so what's going to be next? on the bench when I've done all my tiles and that though I don't actually know I honestly don't know I mean I've got um, thoughts for videos I want to do it may and I don't know because it, it may be it may require something doing for my middle earth RPG it may not. I don't know yet, so, you know, I have to play it by ear a little bit. I've got a lot of, um, like, miniature uh, figures that I can paint up. Uh, miniature figures. Ugh, of course they're miniature figures, Pete. No, I've got a lot of Reaper miniatures that I can paint up uh, for different things. Fantasy, uh, sci-fi, superhero, you know, that kind of thing. God, come on, get a grip. I've got quite a bit of um, scenery I could be painting up. Uh, I'm thinking of doing uh, an alien um, solo RPG. I mean, not necessarily filming, but just having fun, you know, on my own. 
it is, and it is fun. It works if you get if you get the formula right. Works and it works really well actually. I think we can put another. Yes, we can put another strange shape one in here with all the sides on. I've got some massive tiles to do then as well. My goodness, we're getting through these though. Getting through these. I wouldn't say quicker than I expected. I wouldn't say slower, but about how I expected them to go. This is about how I thought it would, would be. Oh, I watched, um, what did I watch last night? Oh. I watched Star Trek Discovery. Been watching that from the outset, really. And then we watched The Mandalorian. Oh man. Uh, that was just brilliant. I love The Mandalorian. It's just great. The child is just fantastic. Baby Yoda, just awesome. Star of the show, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I shouldn't call it Mandalorian, I should call it Baby Yoda, you know, series two, <laughs> it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, he definitely is the star of the show, he steals it, oops, don't know why I'm putting them over there. Yeah, he owns it, man, he really owns it. Ha, <laughs> Uh, I'm at a bit of an um, impasse. Some of these, some of these strange shaped ones to do. I mean, I want to do these um, really big ones, but again, it's where do I put it? I'm glad I didn't put drying retarder in with this. I mean, why would I? <laughs> it's for terrain and production line. The, the last thing I want to do on a production line, really, if I'm not filming, is put drying retarder in it. If I'm filming a production line, then obviously I will, because I want it to dry up before the end of the video, but if I'm not filming, I, I wouldn't. Do it smarter than that. Uh, would I use a wet palette? I've got a couple that I've made. Actually, there's a tutorial, I think, on my tutorials how to make a wet palette. Pretty sure there is. If there is, and I'm pretty sure there is, and I remember, I'll put a link in the corner. But, um, yeah, possibly I'd use a wet palette for doing it on my own. I'm not a fan of wet palettes. I don't. I don't like them. But just for a, like a short term production line usage, I can. I can see it has merit. I suppose you know you could say. Uh, right. Pop that on top of him there. Pop that on top of him. We're getting there, we're getting there. Over there. We're definitely getting there. That is a funny shape one. I could probably put angle it over there. Um, if I move to that, I don't know. Yeah, I could dangle this bad boy off the edge then. Living dangerously. <laughs> It's a Chinese takeaway pot that I'm using to put the paint in here, by the way. I'm a fan of Chinese, and over the years I've collected uh, quite a number of these pots. I've got loads of lids for them as well. Very handy. I mean, I suppose they're handy f to most people in a food storage capacity. 
but as a hobbyist they're handy for me in other ways like artsy crafty ways like this and I don't even need to wash the pot out afterwards I can just throw it away I've got that many literally seriously but I probably would keep it because I'm uh, I don't like throwing things out <laughs> terrible for that I mean when the paint dries I can use it again for another color can I right it's just a glorified mixing bowl right that is now on my drying section. Drying. Alright. Message from Mrs. Minnie was and Tammy the phone rang, but she's not so here. She's she she's working. Um so I better go and uh see if that was my work trying to phone me. I think they try and phone this phone as well. Yeah. 20 past 3. Put some more water in here. Yeah, it could be. It could be my work trying to phone me, but I, I doubt it. Um, you know, they've got my mobile, so they could bring, actually I might put my mobile on the loud, because, just in case, that way I haven't got to keep looking at the screen, that's, because that's irritating, isn't it, when you, like you're expecting a call or whatever, and you've got to keep looking up at the screen, have they rang yet, because you've got it on, like, silent or, or whatever. I put it on silent so that it doesn't disturb the videos, you know. Okay. Right, right, right. What next? What next in this crazy world of painting MDF? <laughs> One of these. Yeah, I was talking about Mandalorian, wasn't I? Great series. Love it. Definitely getting paint on me, that's for sure. Oh, and I realise I've forgotten to bring a torch out with me today because, yeah, I usually bring a torch out because it gets gets very hot out at uh, hot. Oh, what am I talking about? Hot. What's that got to do with it? It gets very dark. It gets dark quickly. About 20 past four now, quarter past four. Uh, obviously losing, you know, time every day up until... Was it the 21st of December or something like that? When the shortest day of the year. And then it starts getting longer again. But um, yeah, so I had to get down the steps out the back. I could do with a torch. Normally I remember to bring one. But I didn't today because that's just the way I roll. Yeah. Hmm. Am I going to get all these painted today? Probably not, no. I'll get this big one painted. I can, I'm just going to leave it on my cutting mat to dry. Stuff it. I want this big one done. God, can you imagine the cost of the paint if you were using like Citadel pots? of paint for this even Vallejo I mean those little bottles and pots they just wouldn't wouldn't have gone this far you 
probably used the map on you know, like half a dozen sections, depending on how big. Depending on how big the section, yeah. There. That's good, that's good. Let's move this piece there, that piece to there. Trying to stack them intelligently, I I am, believe it or not, I am trying. Go there. I think these have been drying better under the lights actually. <laughs> what I will do after this, I will go in, I will check the phone, see if there's an answer phone message. If not, I'll come back out. But hopefully I'll remember to bring a torch because the year because well I'm not gonna finish these to on this uh, video oh well, and also by the way you, you've noticed a different camera angle again I'm just trying to change it up a bit like I said last time but it wasn't didn't it was okay last time when I was doing the filing but uh, uh, that's not my favorite wasn't my favorite angle I don't know if this is either but uh, it's just different it's just something different holy moly intelligently remember yes let's not forget that so that goes there we I mean we are getting there right, 58 minutes I'm gonna call it a day here I think cool glass is off oh sip of coffee before I sort of close out but yeah, I've got I've got a ton done there, and I'm so pleased with you know all, all this stuff I've got here done for the black. It, yeah, I mean the dry brushing shouldn't take as long, but I don't think it'll be that big of a difference. And um, honestly. Once they're painted and I'll seal them, then I'll just put them in my storage box into like one of my really useful boxes, and that'll be my little terrain for fantasy role playing uh, dungeons, crawlers, and things like that. It's gonna be good anyway. Let's go and see what the deal is. Um, if anybody has left me a message. Put some more water in here while I'm gone. Yes, yeah, so if anybody's left me a message, I hope you've got stuff done. Let me know what, because you know what I'm like when it comes to that. I need to know people. I need to know. And yeah, thank you for joining me. Remember, all brushes lead to war, or campaigns, or quests. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one, folks. Bye for now. Bye.